From the roar of the crowd to the roar of the engines, this is Pit Pass, Pennsylvania's racing show. Pit Pass features all your favorite tracks, interviews, highlights, thrills and spills. And here are your hosts, Ron Fox and Jan Miller. Welcome to our first show of season five of Pit Pass here on WHVL. Now we're calling this Pennsylvania's racing show. And although you can still count on coverage from short tracks from across the state, from time to time we're going to branch out to bring you something just a little different. Yes, we have some great ideas. I think this will be our best season yet. Now it's springtime and with spring comes showers, but we were able to make it to a couple of tracks this week. Now later in the show we will have highlights from Mahoning Valley Speedway, but up first we go to Pittsburgh's Pennsylvania Motor Speedway where on Thursday night they held the NDRL 50 lap Penn National. The Kentucky Colonel Steve Francis would lead the 26 car field to the green of the 50 lap event. As you can see, Jonathan Davenport in the number six would flare out wide when the green flag dropped. That would work to his advantage as he overtakes Francis exiting turn two. Down the back stretch, Davenport has barely a car length lead on Francis. Francis hugs the bottom of three and four while Davenport maintains the lead up top. Local favorite Greg Satterley was third. Many stars from the dirt late model ranks made the trek to the Pittsburgh area, including the zero of Scott Bloomquist, who started in the 11th spot. Brandon Shepard was in the number one rocket chassis ride for this event. Here he challenges a 7R of Kent Robinson. Up front, Davenport maintained about a six car length lead over Francis while already lapping traffic by lap nine. Here he passes the 28 of Dennis Erb Jr., who had to take a provisional. While Brian Burkhofer ran in the third position, Satterley tried to hold off the fifth place machine of outside pole sitter Tim Fuller in the black 19. By lap 19, Francis had caught Davenport as they navigated through the lap traffic. Francis shoots to the bottom of turn three to complete the pass and take over the lead. A lap and a half later, Burkhofer works under Davenport through one and two to gain the second position. Although Davenport hung right on Burkhofer's right quarter panel down the back stretch, the 15 pulled away from the six. Jared Miley brought out the only caution of the 50 lap race when he slowed on the front stretch on lap 24. So, this gives everyone a shot at Francis. On the restart, Burkhofer rides in Francis's tire tracks, while again Davenport runs up high when we go back to green flag racing. Davenport uses the momentum of riding the top side to get by Burkhofer, coming off of two. Yet Burkhofer uses the short way through three and four to regain second while closing on the leader. Down the stretch, the Kentucky Colonel Steve Francis would pull away from Brian Burkhofer to take the checkers in the 50 lap Penn National. And collect the $10,000 top prize. Congratulations on your win. Now you've won twice here at this track. Have you found this to be a difficult track? Oh yeah, you know, it's high speed and icy slippery on top of it. So, uh, you know, it, it has its own uh, unique characteristics about this place. Um, we haven't been here since 2007 and that was a brand new race car that we unloaded tonight. So to win here was kind of kind of special for the guys. Very good. Now, we hear that you're running for the Lucas Oil title and the NDRL title. That's our plan right now. You know, Clint Boyer, uh, who owns who owns mine and Don O'Neill's race teams, uh, he gave us the opportunity to try to run uh, run for both titles. So, uh, you know, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I think it's 102 races on our schedule this year, which is a lot for any dirt team. Um, you know, as long as the guys don't go, go don't wear out on us and Mother Nature cooperates and we don't have to wind up, you know, with scheduling conflicts, uh, our goal is to try to do, do both of them. Um, you know, appreciate Pittsburgh having this race, especially on a Thursday night, you know, gives us a chance to come up here and make a, make a little bit extra money. And, uh, you know, all the fans that come out had a good crowd here and a good group of race cars. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can come back and win the, the Pittsburgh this fall here. Well, thank you and congratulations again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Following Steve Francis across the line were Burkhofer, Davenport, Robinson, and Shepard. Some notables, Greg Satterley finished sixth, Kenny Pettyjohn was ninth, Billy Moyer Sr. came home in 10th, Brandon Bragoon was the top finishing track regular, he was 14th, and Bloomer, well, he finished in 20th. Later on in the show, we go back to PPMS for more highlights. 
and I meet with NDRL's owner, John Kennedy. Up next, we go to Mahoning Valley Speedway. It's the ground pounding modifieds in 100 laps of action. Keep it here. Pit Pass is brought to you by Milheim Small Engine, your local Husqvarna dealer, located just one mile west of Milheim. Pocono Raceway, the tricky triangle. Visit PoconoRaceway.com for tickets. Health South Nittany Valley Rehabilitation, the choice in stroke care.